Hi there, this is Robert Evans from CapitalRobert.blogspot.com. What I want to do in this very short video is show you how to get the most out of using an autoresponder. Now, I'm assuming that most of you will know the importance of list building with internet marketing. And to actually build a list, you need a autoresponder. Now, there are one or two uh, autoresponders on the market. The one I use is Aweber.com. That's Aweber.com. Let me just bring up uh, Aweber. The one I use, a Weber, and uh, there's others like GetResponse.com. Um, if you just do a Google search on autoresponders, uh, they, they, uh, they will show one or two uh, different uh, products you can use. But as I said, I use a Weber. A lot of people use a Weber, um, and uh, I've had no problems with it. And I build all my lists using a Weber. So if uh, once you've got your autoresponder in place, in other words, once you've bought it, what you do is first of all create a list name. So if you just look at mine here, uh, one of my list names is just simply Robert Evans. And the description, well, I just put it as the easy easiest way to make money online. So what you do, you just create a, a name for your list. Just fill in the details here. Um, and you go down. So this is your list, and then once you've once you've created your list, I'm just going to this one here. Once you've created your list, um, what you then do is create a opt-in file, and the opt-in file can be used in squeeze play pages. Let me just show you one of my squeeze pages. This one here. There we go. This is a little squeeze page I've got, which. Uh, I use at the moment. It's got some uh, proof of income on here, and then at the bottom here, um, it's just enter your first name and email address. This is called a squeeze page. So when people see this and they want to find out, uh, uh, I want to receive the free information that I offer. They enter their name and email address, and it goes to my uh, autoresponder, which is a Weber. Then what happens is, uh, with Aweber and with most autoresponders, you need a double opt-in. In other words, when people first enter your, when people first enter the details here, uh, they don't get the information. They need to then opt in again. In other words, confirm again. This is basically to stop people putting other people's email addresses into here. So what you do, you enter your name, you enter your email address. Then Aweber will send a confirmation, and it's and it's on mine. It's this here. Thank you for your request for information from Robert Evans. Before I begin sending you this information. You requested, I want to be 100% certain that I have your permission. And it says confirm by clicking the link here. So once you click the link here, um, you then start to receive the information that you requested. But this is where a lot of marketers miss uh, an opportunity because once they've done this, uh, you, you're then presented with a success page. So once somebody confirms their opt in, which is here. They'll click this link. Now, the default setting for Aweber and all um, autoresponders is just a blank page just saying thank you for your subscription. But that is where a lot of uh, internet marketers miss an opportunity here. So, what you can do this is the success page. Uh, what you can do is actually put in your own website. So, as soon as somebody uh, confirms that they want to receive information from you, they are sent to rather than the defaults page they're sent to this one here. Uh, this is my web page. Let me just put this, just copy and show you my web page. Let me just paste this here. So basically what this does is take them to one of my sites. So first of all at the top it says here, thank you, your free report on how to turn £25 into £1,345 per week is on its way in your inbox. But before you go and collect it I have something you might be interested in. And it gives details of my uh, mentor program. So it's just a way of getting your website to people who have actually taken the trouble to double opt in to your list. So this is not people who just uh, enter the details for the first time in this box. It's actually when people then t make the effort to check their email inbox and then double opt in. They are then sent to this site here. So in other words, they're really hot. Uh, they're really interested in the, in the in your information. They might just be wanting your free information, but you uh, you, you also just show them one of your products. 
and uh, a small percentage of people will order but uh, as I said it's it's a it's a, a, a method that a lot of internet marketers miss here so when you're setting up your autoresponder make sure on the success page here make sure you put uh, a website one of your websites so rather than people just saying getting a thank you page make sure that they, then they are then sent to one of your sales pages uh, so they can have a look even better still if you have a little offer on here so say for instance you're selling your product for 47 pound uh, but you can say 10 pound discount if they buy straight away uh, once they receive this page so I hope this has uh, been of interest. As I said, this is only really if you do use autoresponders, and uh, I can't emphasize em enough how important autoresponders are to build your list. So once you've got an autoresponder in place, uh, you set it up like this, but make sure when you go down here, make sure on the success page that you put one of your sales pages there, even if it's just a blog, it's something which which uh, you may be able to get some orders from make sure you have this here so when people double opt into your list they are sent to a sales page and uh, as I said you may be able to track one or two uh, attract one or two more orders okay many thanks for watching this video hope it's of interest and uh, look out for more videos coming your way